somebody wanted me to make a video about the uh, pie menus. You know, the ones that are like the Maya ones when you hit the space bar, but are ten times quicker. So let's go over these real quick, and maybe I'll make another video going over the rest of the keyboard shortcuts. First one, let's talk about Alt, Alt Space Bar. Brings up your select, your action centers, like auto action, auto axis, local axis, all that good stuff. Brings up your transforms. Basically, a lot of the things that are up here, it brings it up right into your cursor. Your fall offs, all that good stuff. Okay, pretty nice. The next one is Control Space, which will let you go to your top view, your perspective view your right view, that's control space. Okay. Um, the next one would be Alt-Q, which lets you choose, just like these up here, you can hit the space bar, choose between vertices, edges, and polygons, or you can hit one, two, three, or you can use Alt-Q and go to edges, polygons, vertices, or if you want to scale, the scale tool, you can hit the R key, or you can hit Alt Q and go scale. Or you can go rotate or transform. It just depends on how you want to work it. There's three ways to do everything in Moto. Okay? That's Alt Q. The next one will be Control Tilde key, which is the key to the left of the one key. You hit Control Tilde. You can see you can get 3D model, graph editor, UV, preview. If you want a quick preview there or your preset browser. Here's all your presets. Over here. Let's see, let's go to meshes. All of our meshes. Okay. Go back to 3D model view. There we go. So pretty pretty nice. That's, that's control tilde. Okay. Now there's alt tilde, which is the same key, just using alt instead of control. You can bring up your camera view which brings up a floating menu, a uh, floating window of your camera, which is the view that will be rendered. Okay. Um, you can bring up your shader tree, which will bring up your shader tree instead of having to go over here and click on your shader tree. You can bring it up right under your cursor. Um, bring up your graph editor. Here's your graph editor. Notice all these are coming up in floating windows. Okay. That's alt tilde. Okay. Then let's, there is Shift Tilde, which will bring up your modeling tools. Okay. Which is these right here. Just bring them up on my second display. Okay, there's the Moto tools. In case you don't want to come over here, if you're in sculpting or something and you want a quick modeling tool, you just hit Shift Tilde and you can bring up your, mo your modeling toolbar. You can bring up your snaps and precision palette right here. Like drag snaps, all your snaps, which I use a lot. You can bring up your curves, your sculpt and paint toolbar, your animate toolbar. Here's your animate toolbar with all your animation tools. You know, your parents and your parents and your lines and all this good stuff. That is shift tilde. Here's your item properties. You want to bring up your item properties. Shift tilde. Okay. Now, is there anything else? Control 1. Bring up toggle lights. There's my light. If I want to turn my lights off, toggle uh, control 1 and I can toggle them on and off. The same thing with my cameras from Control 1. Toggle them on and off. I can isolate selected. I can toggle background shading, toggle grid work plane. If I want to turn my grid and work plane off, I hit Control 1, toggle grid work plane, and it's gone. You see there? Toggle verts, like if I have a um, cube in there, I hit Control 1, I say toggle verts. There's, you can see my little verts are in there now. Toggle verts, they go away. Toggle verts, and there they are, the little vertices right there. You see them? They're black. I can toggle wireframe if I want. Turns my wireframe off, makes my mesh look smooth. Very, very handy. Right, that is. Um, that is control one. Control two will let you go to reflection mode. It'll let you go to wireframe mode. It'll let you go to shaded mode or texture mode. Advanced OpenGL, that's Control 2. Control 2 brings up the kind of mode you want, wireframe or solid or textured. Okay. Control 1 toggles your lights and your cameras, your wireframes and your verts. Okay. Control 3, info and statistics, your tools, your item list, your colors, your shader tree, your graph editor. Um, 
there's your tools as you can see it's a it's a popover window that way you can pick what you want these are your tools um, like basic mesh edit vertex all your tools in a floating window and you just choop. and one of the newest tools in Moto 401 that I love so much is the drag weld you just position your cursor over the vert and you just drag it and it snaps it'll just snap to the vert you want it to like that I love that tool so that pretty much does it for the Pi menu, the quick access menus. Go back through and listen to what the keyboard shortcuts are and write them down and learn them. And in our next video, we're going to go over some more keyboard shortcuts, such as F8 brings up the preview window. F9 brings up the render window and, and renders. Shift F9 renders the layer selected. If you have two or three layers and you just want to render a certain object, Shift F9 will render just the one selected. There's all kinds of little keyboard shortcuts. The N key brings up a new mesh, as you see over here in my items list. New mesh every time I hit the N key. If I hit Shift 2, it takes me to the second layer. Shift 3, third layer. Shift 4, fourth layer. All these cool little shortcuts, and we'll get to them. This is the first one. Thanks for watching.